Hi, this is a video tutorial on how to fulfill an order. After a retailer places an order from your brand, we will send an email to notify you. Click the Accept Order button, which will take you to the orders page in your Maker Portal. Please note you can also access your orders by logging into your Maker Portal. To confirm that you want to accept an order, you will need to input the estimated shipping date. Before entering a shipping date, please review the order to ensure that you have all the products in stock and available to ship. You will see the products ordered under the item details on the right hand side, including the quantity of each one. If any of the products in the order are out of stock or have been discontinued, click Edit Item Availability. You can also access the Edit Availability option directly in the email notifying you of the order. This will take you to a new page where you can edit the quantity of ordered products you have on hand. Once you select the available quantity, you will be prompted to input a restock date. This is the date the items will be back in stock and available to ship. We will send an email to the retailer informing them of the change in their order. If they choose to accept the back order, you will see this as a new order in your orders tab. If your retailer declines the future ship date for the items that are currently unavailable, the back order will be canceled. The item will also appear as back ordered in your store so that other retailers know it is out of stock and can receive an email when the item is restocked. If an item is discontinued, check the mark item as discontinued box. This will inform your retailer that the product is no longer available and that it has been removed from their order. The item will also be removed from your shop to prevent other retailers from adding it to their orders. Once you have finalized the availability edits, click Submit Updates to notify your retailer. Once you have either confirmed the availability of all the products in the order or edited their availability appropriately, you are ready to accept the order. Please input the estimated shipping date in the field in the top left corner. Once the estimated shipping date is entered, the order is considered confirmed and an email will be sent to your retailer. To help maintain your lead times, we will also send you an email on the selected date to remind you to ship. Whenever you're ready to ship, either the day indicated or before, print your packing slip. Make sure to include it in your package as retailers use it to confirm the items received. Please do not include your own packing slips or invoices as retailers may get confused. Next, choose your shipping method. If you choose to ship with FAIR, you can utilize the rates FAIR has negotiated with our shipping partners. First, select your preferred carrier and the speed of delivery. Your retailer will be charged the shipping cost, so we recommend using the ground option, which is typically the cheapest. Alternatively, if you have communicated with your retailer and they requested an expedited delivery, choose the appropriate option. Then go ahead and input the package dimensions and weight. This will calculate the shipping cost that your retailer will be charged. If the order consists of multiple packages, use the plus button to add any additional. In the end, if you would like to print the label on a 4x6 format, check the box. Otherwise, it will print as a regular sized sheet of paper. Then click Confirm and Print Label. You can also choose to ship on your own. Once you have shipped the order, Input the tracking number and cost so that we charge your retailer for the shipping and refund you appropriately. If the retailer is local and you are hand delivering the package, click hand deliver and confirm this delivery method. Keep in mind, you won't be able to change this method once confirmed. In your maker portal under the orders tab, you are able to view all orders. Orders marked as new are considered unconfirmed and pending your review. Once a shipping date is entered, the order is marked as unfulfilled but confirmed. 
When the order is shipped, it will appear as fulfilled. Alternatively, if you choose to not accept an order, it will appear as canceled. You can use the buttons on top to navigate your orders or search for a specific one using the search bar.